Greetings, Car Fanatics, and I'm going to show you how to fix a rattling cup holder on a Porsche 997 or 987. The most common cause of a cup holder rattle has to do with this piece over here. There's a plastic rod that attaches to a spring which applies tension on this. Over time, that plastic rod can break, and this thing just flops around and causes a rattle. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the cup holder rattle using common things you can find in your house. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step is to remove the cup holder. We're just going to open up the glove box. Then using a four millimeter Allen wrench, we have one screw underneath here and one screw over there. Got one side out. With both of the screws out, we can just pull the cup holder right on out. Okay, so we have the cup holder out. Let's go ahead and take a look at my particular cup holder and figure out what's going on. We're just going to undo the screws here that hold this top cover in place. All right, and I did fix one side. Let me show you how I'm going to fix this side. As you can see here, we have the cup holder. If we just lift up this lid, we'll be able to remove the whole cup holder arm. All right, so we have the cup holder out. Let me show you the source of the rattle. These cup holders tend to break pretty easily. So as I drop this, you can see there's no tension or anything keeping this in place. And there's this rod here that's actually broken. This rod here is supposed to connect to this little metal spring and plastic piece. And then basically what that does is it applies tension on this little arm part. But because this part is broken off, there's no tension. All right, so imagine this is the cup holder and then you're driving along in the car. You have that bouncing around. And then when this is inside the cup holder, like so, this piece is also going to be bouncing around inside this cup holder and that's going to be making noise. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. We're going to reconnect it, but not with this plastic piece. We're actually just going to break this off and then connect it with a piece of metal wire. So let's start by cutting this piece off. All right, now you wanna take one of these tie stay things, and this is going to work perfect for our application. Then I wanna just take off this sheath. All right, now that we have this off, what we're going to do, make one side kind of like a hook. All right, now we wanna loop it through this hole right here. And then all we wanna do now is simply twist this around a few times. All right, so now we have a connection. Let's go ahead and connect this and take a look at what effect this has. So you just wanna loop it through the bottom right here and then bring it around the top. Then you actually want tension when this is closed and not open. So put this in the open position. So now we're just gonna wrap this around the wire over here, create some tension with that. And then using a paper clip, let's get this in position. All right, and then we can begin to wrap this around a few times. All right, and it really doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to be secure. But now let's take a look at it. Boom, we have tension. So as you can see, when I close this, that spring is under tension. And when I keep this inside the cup holder, this is not just going to be bobbling around because we have the spring keeping tension on this thing, so it's just not free to move around. So now let's take a look at this and shake it. All right, there's a little bit of noise just from like this thing moving, but it's very minor and it doesn't have to do with this. This was the big culprit of what was making a lot of the noise. I believe the cup holder is vibrating a bit, probably at this junction. Now, another thing we're going to do to basically quiet this down, we're gonna add a little bit of felt. I'm gonna cut a small little piece off. Let's just go ahead and apply it to the cup holder to see if we can silence it down. So it's vibrating a little bit from right here. We can just fit that up in here. Then we're just gonna press down the felt tape. And this isn't super pretty, but I was at least able to get the felt tape in here. And now when we close it, It sounds a whole lot better. You have this moving every now and then, but that's not making a bunch of noise. Let's go ahead and put this back in. All 
All right, now we have that back in place. Let's go ahead and reinstall our screws. All right, car fanatics, so that's how you fix a rattling cup holder on a Porsche 997 or a 987. And the great part is you can do it at home. You don't need anything special. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments or questions below and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.